One and two, three, team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Utopia Season 1, Episode 5, Arts and Minds. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my god! So now, when I put an appointment in my computer, it automatically goes to your calendar. Oh, well, that's great. So, for example, click today. Yep. You've got a meeting with Jeff this afternoon at 2.30. Oh, OK. And is this meeting... With Jeff? Yeah, but is this me... Am I meeting him or is he meeting me? Does it say? No. We'll have to check, but it's at 2.30. And where? I'll check that too. And is it Jeff Kane or Jeff Storelli? Checking. <laughs> My guy needs a lot more information. See, this, this ain't enough. Meeting with Jeff at 2.30. Where? When? Which Jeff? Hey. Morning, Tony. Morning, Amy. Good article in the paper this morning. Oh, what was that? It was something about us. It's being one of this government's success stories. Oh, yeah, the fin. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't place too much stock in newspaper articles, though. Oh, yeah, but it makes up for that other one. What other one? Uh -oh. Nothing. Is this about the Western Bypass? <laughs> I don't know. A project we practically had nothing to do with and suddenly found our logo splashed all over it? I didn't want to ruin the day. <laughs> you know what? Sun is shining. No one was in my car spot this morning. Nothing's going to ruin my day. OK. It was just about how our role seems to be unclear. Got it, yeah. It was so unfair. <laughs> yeah. It just went on and on. Thanks, and Amy. On. Got it. Do you want a copy? Of no, thanks. <laughs> Amy, God dang. Hey, you know, I don't want to ruin your day as I proceed to give you all the terrible information to try and ruin your day. This is so unfair. Oh, a couple of backhanders. I know, he went on and on. Scotty, our role is a little unclear. No, not that bit. The stuff he said afterwards. Oh. Morning, all. Have you seen this? Not round up. The, the miss, miss headache right here. Miss headache right here. This is, we don't like her coming into the office. This papers. Who read those? You want to copy this? I oh, know. Thanks, Scotty. Shall we make a start? Start on what? The meeting. Katie, there's nothing here. I put it here. Oh, uh, I didn't press done. It's OK. Then oh it through now. God. OK. Sorry, Rhonda, there's been some IT issues. Mm. Did you get it? Got it, yep. Meeting with Rhonda. Yeah. Mm. What's this about? The new highway. Very exciting. The M1? Thought it was the A1. Bits of it are the A1, but it's mostly the M1. Right, no, it's the one that goes around, around, the, around the whole... The country? The one you've just built. Oh, we haven't built anything. We're just overseeing some final stages. With the umbrella the... organisation. Our logo's all over the bit up the side Again, on the... Again, you mean the Pacific Highway? It doesn't matter. Sure. What I'm hearing is there could be some sort of delay. There's always delays. But this could jeopardise my launch. Why are we launching a road? It's not just a road. This is a link. It's the final link in the in the loop that brings it around. This links the whole. Are you talking about Osley or National Roads? Roads to I might be. Okay. It's not the point. No. The point. <laughs> we like, my boy Tony need more information. He need to know what you're talking about so, so he can understand fully what the problem is. If you can't tell him exactly what you're talking about, you're giving him another headache. It is. I've got state and federal ministers penciled in, a national anthem to organise. Roger, it's not the grand final. And I want to know why there's a delay. All right. Katie, can you just grab Nat for a second? I'll send an e-alert to her calendar. No, no, just stand up and call her. After the e-alert? Nat! This is bullshit. Turns out there may well be a delay. Is this structural? This is about the formwork with the resurfacing? No, it's to do with the art. Art? Are we still talking about the highway? Well, the final stretch of it. Apparently, the plan was to mark the project's completion with uh, a series of iconic roadside installations. Here's a thought. How about we uh, mark the completion of the project by just completing the project? They've done exactly. it before. Apparently, it was very successful. Who did it before? Connect East. They built a motorway in Melbourne. I think Connect East almost went broke doing that. Oh, but I think the art was very successful. <laughs> what sort of art? I think Connect East almost went broke doing, doing that. I think the art was very successful, though. How is it? They're like giant statues. Oh, and there's a big mural. It's got nothing to do with us. No, it was a federal arts initiative. The federal arts minister cleared it with the state roads minister, but they both forgot to tell the federal transport minister. Oh, you're kidding So me. we've been called in to help sort it out. What exactly oh is the problem? Problems. Several of the artworks are causing issues. How many are there? Artworks or problems? Both. 
15 artworks have been commissioned. And there's six problems. So six artworks have problems. Oh, five. One of them has two problems. Rhonda's planning a mega launch for this thing. Oh, I know. I got sent a draft schedule. Uh, do we know who's seeing the National Anthem? Look into it. Find out what the problems are. I want it sorted. OK. Oh, hey, do you have a physio appointment at 6.30? Yeah, why? Oh, I just got it sent to my calendar. <laughs> no, I don't know when it rings. Don't you just swipe it or tap it? No, I did that and I keep getting the weather out. Morning. Hey, Jim. Katie. Jim. Got a briefing on this oh, road. Oh, right. and there's, there's your second headache right there. There's the second. I'm telling you, Rhonda and, and gosh, what's his name? Jim. Rhonda and Jim, <laughs> that give Tony so much unnecessary headaches for unnecessary things that they want. Or, or they're launching, or they, they say that they're launching, and then they put the pressure on Tony. It's a struggle. Yeah. Big whispers the PM has agreed to. Uh-uh. Oh, it's big news. Do you know exactly what the achievement is that we're celebrating? That we've finally got a road around Australia. But we've had that for 40 years. <laughs> but it's divided? <laughs> yeah, but bits of it aren't divided. <laughs> is it that we've got the ripple strips <laughs> down the side? Do they now go? All the way. I don't know that. Anyway, it's a big day for Australia, thanks to you and the team. Yeah, we've had very little to do with this project. Oh, come on, our logo's all over it. Let's celebrate a successful outcome. Just on that, we've heard a whisper there might be a minor delay. Unions? No. Council no. them. Environment. No, art. Oh. In order to commemorate this final stretch of whatever. Yeah. Um, Apparently, there's a whole bunch of roadside art going in. Well, when did you agree to this? We didn't agree to anything. Have you got it under control? Well, we're looking into it. All right, good man. Oh, that's another reason I came down. Um, Mumbai. What about it? Turns out it's our sister city. And? They want to send a delegation down just to get a glimpse of what we're doing. What for? Well, they're thinking of setting up a nation-building authority of their own. And they want to learn from us. Hey, don't act so surprised. We're getting all... Is that they want to learn from us? Are they sure? Because... Could we say we're gonna get a lot of things done, but we don't really get too much done. So they 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 would have learned from us. A lot of attention around the world. Anyway, you couldn't take him for a couple of hours. Jim, it's just a goodwill visit. It's lunch, give him a squeeze around the office, then ship him off to the casino. We're kind of snowed under. Katie, diary. I already said you would. There's an Indian delegation. Uh, when are they coming? Oh, Thursday. Midday. I'll pop it into your calendar. It's only three days away, so I'll make it an alert. Oh, do you have a physio appointment? Yes, I do. Nap just told me. <laughs> still not on this. What's that called? Road to nowhere. Well, that's just dangerous. Yeah, it's been cancelled. Right. So, is the rabbit's OK? Yep. <laughs> Road to nowhere. Well, that's... <laughs> Dude, that's just dangerous to be a kid. That's it's smart. And the bally thing? It's fine. Okay. The, this is the first installation that's a problem. So it's a fake truck stop. A brilliant example of spatial distortionism. Just that's give me something so a wanky description doesn't make it more important. It's a three-quarter scale model of a truck stop. And why? In order to challenge our notions of consumerism and the predation. Last of warning. Okay, so what's the problem? Oh, it's position. Turns out there's a real truck stop, fast food outlet, uh, about 5Ks down the road. So? The owners are worried that people might think their truck stop is also fake and not going. Yeah. Business. Oh, please. Just checking, did your alarm go off? No. It should have. I put a calendar entry what in What does T at HPS mean? Talk at Hillside Primary School. The whole thing wouldn't fit, so I had to use initials. We used to fit in my old diet. Sorry, is this now? No. Oh. It's in an hour. What? <laughs> I'm right in the middle. Hey, can we get out of this? Can you just call and say there's been a crisis at the office? That's what we said last time. Did we? This time it's true. Well, it was true last time. We yeah. can handle this. Really? Look. He <laughs> said, keeps so all this energy for the crisis at the office. That's what we said last time. This time it's true. It's true last time. <laughs> hey, yeah, Katie, I don't know how she's still that job, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, Katie, Katie would have been fired. If it wasn't a TV show, Katie and Katie would have been gone. Because <laughs> Katie make life difficult. That's, that's headache number three right there. Well, just go through each of the sculptures. My installations? It's about its context and its environment. Go through each of the sculptures, find out what the problem is and what we need to do to fix it. Fill up the front seats, guys. These ones too. Quick, quick, quick. He'll be here soon. These ones in the front. So? Hey, we really appreciate you coming. Oh, no, I'm more than happy to help. Sorry, that's, uh, I think that's reminding me that I need to be here. I'll just... Uh, 
Just can't seem to. Would you like me to? No, no. I was just not sure how to get the. Uh... It's in settings. Sorry. It's in settings. In notifications. We gotta hit cancel. <laughs> Do you mind doing that? <laughs> so I can give you a one-hour warning. <clears throat> hey. Kids these days, I'm telling you, they know so much more, more about technology than, than, than older people. Uh, then, yeah, kids, uh, they're just so advanced at this technology, bro. It's insane. For a two-hour warning. But that's, or... that's all synced up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, do either of you know much about Indians? As in Pocahontas Indians? Or Sash and Tendulkar Indians. I don't know who either of them are. What sort of Indians? From Mumbai? Tendulkar Indians. We've got a delegation coming this week. Oh, beauty. We'd Tendulkar like to provide Indians. lunch. Is there anything Indians don't eat? I know this. If they're Hindu, they won't eat beef. And if they're from southern India, they're often vegetarian, possibly vegan. Oh. I might just do sandwiches. Yeah, that, that sounds like the best best. Why am I seeing Monica from the Australian Arts Council? That's for Nat. How did you? Ah, uh, I know what I've done. Did you get in my okay? Can I get? She's literally awful, bro. She's literally awful. Like, stop putting stuff in. Uh, stop trying to do that. Put stuff on their schedule electronically. Kate, it's not working. It's not working at all. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Um, we probably should make a start. Amy, did you want to say something? No. Right? Hugh, will you be joining us? No. Meeting with Monica <laughs> at 2.30. Oh, it was for no. Hugh. Um, Hugh, I think this alert was for you. Oh, OK. So, uh, Monica, I'm sorry. <laughs> <chose this. laughs> Kate is awful, bro. She awful. As part of a panel, it wasn't easy. Are you aware there have been some issues with the selection? I'm not surprised. That's what great art does. It divides. Or challenges? Or challenges. We fear there's going to be some criticism. Isn't that the whole point of what we're doing here? <laughs> to ignite debate? No, I think the point of what we're doing is to get trucks from Brisbane to Sydney as efficiently as possible. Give me an example of the work that's creating problems. I can give you six. I'm starting with... Oh, perfect. This one. Gun. Everyone who's seen it has deemed it offensive. I can't see why. Neither can I. You, it's upside down. <laughs> Oh, that's not <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> I can see why it would be a bit. We can all see why it would be a bit too. It's clear as day. It's clear as day, Monica. What do you not see? A very busy man, but he's agreed to share some of his time with us today. From Nation Building Australia, oh, sorry, Mr. Yeah. Woodford. Thank you, Mr. Nettie. Thank you. Lovely to be here. Thank you. Hello, a wonderful welcome. Now, what do I do? Well, my job is to help build things, big things like uh, roads or dams or ports or railways, things we might need for the future. Can anyone think of something else we might need to build, yes? A rocket? A rocket? Yeah, probably not us, but let's put it up there because, um, yep, we might need that in the future. A rocket. OK, anybody else? Houses? Houses. Oh, we call them urban renewal projects and they're can anyone think of something else that might be vital for this country? A national broadband network? Yeah, a little complicated. Yeah, no, well, let's just set it. Let's put it up there in. The national broadband network. <laughs> From many videos that I've seen, they definitely sound like something that's needed. NBN, yeah. Anything else that uh, we might, uh, yeah? I usually keep playing like after if I wait a second or two it usually continues to play. So I'm not sure why it's paused. And where might the really, really long bridge go to? The moon. Yeah, it might be a little far. <laughs> for, uh, what about Tasmania? Tas still far, but anyway, let's put up bridge <coughs> to Tassie. A really, really long bridge. Yeah. And it'll have to be a long bridge to get there. But, uh, <laughs> OK, well, there it is. Anyone else? A spaceship. Yep, you caught his bug. Yep, no, well, how about we put up satellites? Because they're uh, very similar to spaceships, but slightly more useful. Right, uh, yep. Your physio appointment is at 2.30. Some of these works simply won't get the go-ahead. But they've already got the go-ahead. Not from you, from the real world. I'm sorry. Um, do you think any of the artists would be willing to modify their works? 
to modify their works? Oh That's the question. God. Would the artist be willing to modify their works? Same question. Needs an answer. I'd be reluctant to ask. Would it be all right if we spoke to the artists? Would it be all right yes. if you spoke to the artists? No, I need to repeat the question. I swear to God, bro, she annoy you be too bad. She annoy Would it be all right if you... Bro, just answer the question. Yes or no? It's that simple. I guess she could try, but I'm not sure what you can do that I can't. <laughs> she could try to what a cast ah, is there's them. so many wonderful ideas. Giant water slide, let's build that now. Now, what we need to do is prioritise, because we can't build them all, so we have to decide what's the most important project. Anyone? Can't be the rocket. A space station. Yeah, OK. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it up, and I'm going to put it under space programs. That'll include everything, satellite and... Now, number two, you know, we have to drive, don't we, in order to get places. What might we build in order to do that? A road. really, really long bridge. Yeah, I was thinking roads. <laughs> yep, no. <laughs> don't you love that kid to answer things, bro? A really, really long bridge. A road. We need a road to drive on. Let's put it up there. The bridge to Tassie, number two. Now, let's keep going with this priority list because when this is over, I'm going to have my office type all this up, print it out, and we're going to have the official Hillside Primary School Nation Building Australia list. Yes? Don't forget your meeting with Rhonda tomorrow at 2. Quite a lot of artists use this space. Sure. Yeah, sure. it's shared. There we go, obviously. There it is. There it is. I've seen pictures, but you know, yeah. Yeah, not. Yeah. The finished product. Will... How does he not see the issue with this? How how do they not see the issue? It's like we're looking at the same thing, right? That's why I have to sit there and be like, hey, are we looking at the same thing, or am I seeing something different? Be even longer. Permanently, or just at different times? Well, I could show oh you more detail about that if you want. No, no, this this is plenty. Let's be honest, when people drive down the road, what will they see? For me, art's not so much about what you see as what you don't see. They'll see a penis. <laughs> sure, but others will see the folly of Steve, it. It's Stephanos. It's a penis. Art's got to be yeah. confronting. It's also got to be something we can stick on the side of a public motorway. As it now stands, your section of the road will be closed to anyone under the age of 18. Could be a silty. Yeah. Look, I'll cut to the chase, unless you can modify this in some way. What do you suggest? Could you add a giant fig leaf? <laughs> Could you add a oh, giant fig morning. leaf? Just syncing the appointments for that. Can I just check something? Yep. About the Indian delegation. Oh, when are they coming? Tomorrow. Oh. Uh, they would love to know a couple of our projects they could research before they arrive, just so they can be up to speed. Oh, where are we on the east-west tunnel? Planning stage. Oh, have we got plans? Pre-planning stage. Yeah. What about the deep water? <laughs> oh, have we got plans? Pre-planning stage. Well, we started dredging. Waiting on the environmental impact statement. How about livable cities? They could visit the site. But we haven't built anything. No, we built a viewing platform. What would they see? <laughs> Potential. <laughs> this one's fine. We might have an obesity issue, but <clears throat> they're fine with that one. That's a problem. Oh, what about this one? The giant cockatoo eating grain. I think that's one of the okay ones. No objections? Unless the National Farmers Federation decided to comply. And this one looks like a giant mobile phone tower. Oh. I think that is a giant mobile phone tower. So not art? Could be both. I'll, I'll have to check. Let's just put it in a separate pile for now. Okay. Right. I thought you were going to sort this out. Look, Rhonda, we're going to get the road open. We just have to oh, sort out the your road. I'm talking about my launch. What's the hold-up? It's still three or four months Do you away. Have any idea how far in advance you have to book, Jessica Melbourne? Uh, we're having some issues with the artwork. The what? Installations. Roadside art. What's the difference? Installations are site-specific, designed to transform our perception of space. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Neither does he. <laughs> Rhonda, look, it's, it's complicated. It's simple. We have finally delivered a project on time and under budget, and now you are telling me I can't get that good news out. We're on to it. You better be. <laughs> good morning. Well, I don't know how you... Is that old? Is that Boya? Boya? Here we go. Yep. Pretty happy with it. 
thus far. Right. Um, can I just say right off the bat, we want a mural. I mean, if, if everyone wants a mural, we just have one issue. Which is? Your mural. Do you mind if I ask you something? <laughs> we want a mural. Everyone wants a mural. We just have one issue, which is your mural. <laughs> Oh, look, I prefer the work. Speak for itself. Yeah, it's a bit of a one-sided conversation. Uh, you see... Manhattan. Manhattan. You've got two cars having what appears to be a head-on crash here. Multiple pile-ups here. Corpse in the cemetery. One, two, three, four, five, six, let's say ten roadside fatalities. Plus roadkill. Uh, there's graffiti reading <coughs> progress kills. Now, I'm no art expert, but I am detecting a bit of a theme. Well, it's polemic work. I make no apologies. A lot of people will not be happy having this mural on the freeway. Bottom line, Manhattan. Either you make some changes, big changes, or that stays as a concrete wall. Simple Is someone under the monster truck? Yes, small boy. Scotty! Sorry, That's Katie didn't put boy. in the time. When does the Indian delegation arrive again? Uh, tomorrow, midday. Oh, and did you find a couple of nation-building projects that they could research? Yep. Right. The Snowy Mountain Scheme and the Opera House. We had nothing to do with them. Oh, it had to be something we actually built. Yes. Oh, gee, that's tough. Interesting. Oh, my God. Very bro. interesting. What? That's what we like about you. Your ability to think outside the square. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. How did you get hold of that list? It's a sheet you circulated. Priority list. You know what's really struck a chord with Jim, everyone? It's been a must. Satellite space oh programs. God, We'd love to hear There is no more. Don't play games. I'm excited. The PM's excited. Jim, Couple Jim. of pages, broad outline. Just let us know where you're headed with this thing. It's very exciting. Jim. I know. Mm. How on earth did he get a hold of that, bro? <laughs> How, Jim? Space program. Scotty. I know. Katie. <laughs> How did a copy of this list get into Jim's hands? I'm trying to be efficient. I'm syncing all office communications. What? It said priority list. I thought you wanted them circulated. It also had Hillside Primary School written across the top. Don't worry, I CC'd them as well. Oh my you god. You didn't find bro. any of these ideas just a little far fetched? No. A national birthday party centre? Sounds like fun. A bridge to Tasmania? Yeah. I like that one too. A giant water slide? Don't they have those in Queensland? Mm -hmm. They're not built by the government. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? 70 metre cantilevered steel beams form an abstract interpretation of a city gate. It's called reflections. And what's the problem? It reflects. At night. Car headlights make it look like you're heading into oncoming traffic. What was oh. he thinking? He was trying to confront and challenge our perspectives of time and place. We're talking to the artist. I'm hopeful. OK, next. Uh, Roadside Ideal by Stanislav Murovkik. Well, a playful rendering of our desire for indulgence. What's the problem? It's raised some eyebrows at women's affairs. What's the issue? They feel it could be reinforcing negative stereotypes regarding ideal form. They're too fat. What, a statue's got to have a BMI now? They're eating, of course they're mm -hmm. fat. They've probably been to that truck stop. I think we can. Yeah. Yeah, they probably went to that truck stop. Sold this one. <coughs> However... It's a sound oh Well, it was God. supposed to be, but they commissioned an artist to redesign it. And? You wanted to play with the form. Uh, hence the discs and patterns. I don't see anything wrong with it. That's not going to offend anyone. That's not the problem. Then what is? It doesn't reduce sound. Apparently it amplifies it. Oh. Did they have this sort of problem when they put the dog on the tucker box five miles from Gundagai? The Indians are coming! 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 Humara? Yep. OK. Uh, physio apt... Oh, no, no, that's physio appointment. Yep. Uh, humara sachi anandit. 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 The emphasis is on the first syllable. Yeah, you know what? I'll do a copy and you can read it later. Welcome, anyway. That's and thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Now, I'm going to join you for lunch. Until then, my uh, senior assistant, Scott's going to show you around the nation-building offices. We would like that very much. Uh, shall we start with the project planning Indeed. department? We want to know everything about your office. Here's a glass, double hinged, two-way action. I think they've got doors in India, Scotty. He just said he wanted to know everything Maybe about... Maybe skip the office fittings. <laughs> I'm just pull on that integrated chrome door handle. Thank you. <laughs> you wanted a word? I <laughs> just pull on the integrated door handle.
Thank you. Oh, yeah, Chip. Yeah, yeah, come in. Yeah. About before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've spoken to a few people. Just between you and me, they're talking cans. We're going to upgrade the M1 all the way to North Queensland. Oh, for the launch facility. If we're going to build this space program of yours, we need a launch facility. There is no space program. I know, I know. You want to keep this thing hush-hush. No, I'm saying there's no need to start launching our own satellites. The PM loves it. Yeah, we've got so many more pressing... Pro Hang on, he hasn't said anything publicly. No, no, no. Although he's going to run it past Cabinet. When? Oh, oh not until... Oh, my Actually, don't be today, don't This they? is just like putting art on a highway. It's one of those things that sounds good and then it bites us in the arse. Yeah, how's that going, by the way? Oh, that's working through all the issues. Ah, good, because it'd be nice to have the launch out of the way before we announce the space program. Oh, my God. So there's another one of our projects, the port... How are they going to do the space-related government, bro? <laughs> Does the government do space program? NASA is that government? I don't even Very know. Very common use bulk export facility. We're overseeing a complete upgrade of the port. How long did this take? About 18 months. 18 months to complete the entire project? No, to complete the planning proposal. We're still awaiting approval. But then how uh, long? About 12 months. To complete it? Uh, to complete the tender process. It seems like a lengthy period. No, it's pretty fast. Yeah. How do you guys do it back home? We start building? Right, that, that's really how fast. Do you, how do you guys do it back home? We start building? We should probably come and visit you. Can you show us something that has... Ah, we should probably come and visit yeah. you. Nah. 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 Not ours. No. Jim, would you just promise me one thing? Shoot! That nothing is said publicly about a satellite or a space program. I don't know why you're being so coy. Jim. Would it change your thinking if I told you that we had a letter from 50 prominent Australian scientists supporting the idea? When did this happen? I said if we had it. What does it say? Still drafting it. Who are they? Still tracking down the scientists. Oh my god. Do you have an god. email contact for Rob Thomas? The lead singer of Matchbox 20. Ah, oh, who am I thinking of? Andy Thomas? That's <laughs> the one. And there are two Dr. Carls, aren't there? Yeah. Which one's on Neighbours? Is Dr. Phil Australian? Is Dr. Phil Australian? Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. I got delayed by that. Ugh. Your uh, colleague has been showing us some of your impressive projects. Oh, well, we're pretty proud of what we're trying to achieve here. Certainly some grand plans here. Yeah, more than just plans. One of the strengths I think we like to think we have here at the NBA is our ability to see things through, you know, not just make the announcement, but... What else are you working on at the moment, if if it's not breaching any confidence? Oh, no, no, we're all pretty uh, transparent here. What are we working on? The space program. Yeah, I wouldn't mention You're starting a space program. Oh, just thinking about it. Pre preliminary, pre-planning. Yeah. Uh, war space station, but not here. Australia got space station. Why does Australia need a space station? We don't. Exactly. Oh, we might. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's an idea. Why does Australia need a space station? <laughs> That's what Tony tried to try to tell them. That's what he tried to Dear tell them. Pre-planning. It's a pretty yes. We will definitely run it past you guys when we're further down the track and see what you think. We think we've made headway. Finally, some good news. Our sculptor Stephanos. has agreed to make his work look less phallic. It's more like a telephone but with a funny end. Although I'm not sure which bit you're talking to. Hugh, put that down. Yeah. Our mural artist Manhattan. has agreed to lose five fatalities and the graffiti reading progress kills. He feels it's less confronting but still challenging. I think we've managed to reduce the carnage. And at 110 kilometres an hour, you won't see much detail. Hopefully people will be speeding. Reflections is also looking good. The artist has agreed to use non-reflective materials. But there still you go. Call it reflections. Well, it's ironic now. Um, roadside <laughs> ideal um, women's affairs got back to us. As long as all of the family are fat or all of the family are thin, but not anorexic, the artwork will be approved. There what about go. our truck stop? Also solved. The artist has agreed for us to reposition his instalment further down the road after the real truck stop. So you can eat first, then get challenged. And the sound wall. Spoke to the site engineer. <laughs> so you can eat first and then get challenged. They can do this. put a sound wall behind the sound wall. It's not cheap. It's really expensive. But it will be functional. So we're done? I think so. Wow. The Indians are leaving. Oh, thank God for that. What? I think they're going to present us with a gift. Oh. That's uh, absolutely... Uh, oh, wow. How's that? Yeah, well, well, thank you. Thank and you. it's good luck when the trunk is up. Is it? Well, well, we hope you've enjoyed your brief visit here yes. and on... On our behalf, we'd like you to accept this a small token of uh, goodwill by a local artist. It's a Thank you. sort of phone. Yeah, it's also good luck when that's up. Yeah.
Oh, my God, bro. Morning, Tony. Morning, Amy. Great article in the paper this morning. Oh, uh, I don't read them anymore. No, 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 no. It's really, really good. What does it say? The NBA has been responsible for some of this country's most significant infrastructure projects. Yeah. Then there's a couple more paragraphs like that. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh. Oh, what? I didn't see the however. However, the ludicrous proposal to build a domestic space program smacks of the sort of ideas dreamt up by seven-year-olds after too much red coal. Tony? He never wanted the space station. And he told them not to say anything about the space station. That's how we got it. You guys got a better video suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy D. Neal. Out.